Hey guys, Sketchy here coming at you with the third episode of Sketchy Unscripted. Today I'm going to be drifting away from Pony once again to talk about another series that I am really excited for that's going to be coming out in November, Digimon Adventure Try. Now for those who do not know, uh, Digimon Adventure Try is not only going to be another incarnation of Digimon, it's going to be continuing on the storyline that was introduced in the first two seasons we're going to be seeing the original eight heroes and their digimon and we're going to be seeing them as teenagers in high school now for someone who has grown up on digimon and has watched it from the beginning this is really exciting however i'm not gonna uh pretend that i was a digimon fan from day one i actually didn't start watching the series until I was in seventh grade and that was long after data squad had ended also the order that i watched the series in was really messed up like i watched data squad first then tamers then frontier and then the adventure series and then when cross wars aka fusion came out i watched that in japanese and i'm currently a whole season behind in english now i'm sure half the people who watch digimon from day one are probably thinking that I'm totally stupid but I just decided to take advantage of the fact that each series had its own storyline and just watched it in the order in which they interested me as it stands right now Tamers is my favorite season while Adventure 02 is my least favorite and with regards to this new incarnation they're going to be taking this one in a different direction first of all the art style is different from any uh, Digimon series you've seen before, even Data Squad, which was drastically different from the other series. It was originally supposed to come out in April, but April had finally rolled around and we didn't see any trailers, we didn't see any promotional material, and you'd think that with a series like this they'd be hyping it up since February. But instead, they are going to be releasing it in November, and it's going to be a series of six films now this was the biggest shocker out of all of them because no one had ever expected it to be a series of films we had all expected with the way Digimon usually did things we thought that it was going to be a regular series and I'm not sure how I feel about this you know because yeah me because it's a film that means a bigger budget but at the same time we're not gonna get that much um material so they would really have to capitalize on the limited time that they have in order to make a very memorable series like it can't just be memorable just because it has the old characters and redoes the original japanese themes it, it it needs to have something on its own in order to stand up and stay standing another disadvantage of try being a series of films is that it's going to take longer for the films to be dubbed and released in english and I'm going to be watching the movies in both Japanese and English, but for the people who only watch it in English, it kind of sucks for them because they have to wait so long after having to wait God knows how long for the original cast to come back. But I'm still going to remain optimistic about this series. The trailer looks really promising, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Toei brings to the table with this new series. And hopefully it'll open doors for the Digimon series in the future. I always thought that Digimon was superior to Pokemon when it came to the anime. In the games, I love Pokemon to death, but in the anime, I think Digimon blows it out of the water. So that does it for this episode of Sketchy Unscripted. I had originally planned to include how I got into the Digimon series, like what made me want to give it a try, but as you can see, this video is getting long enough as it is, so I'm just going to leave it at that and include the story down in the comments. So if you have any other questions for me about how I feel about this series, uh, let me know in the comments below, and let me know what you thought about the audio quality of this video. I've been fiddling around with the settings and audacity to get some better audio settings so let me know how this video sounded i'll see you guys tomorrow when i do my review of friends forever 16 and until then keep it sketchy folks